focusing on the groove wear, I'm going to take us to um, Orkney in the far north of Scotland. Because radiocarbon dating currently suggests that this was the place where groove wear pottery was invented. Yes. 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 Suddenly, you get that immediate connection to the fact that these people were living real lives. They weren't just examples of the Neolithic, they were genuine people doing real things, and of which producing a pot was just one aspect. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How, how to make uh, a co uh, coils? Uh, get um, please an amount of clay, just like this. Like uh, uh, sausage. Oh. If you find it sort of going do, 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 instead of rolling evenly, you're probably pressing a little bit too hard. Everybody's pot is very much. There's, there's an element of your own personalities in your pots. What I do first is uh, joining it like this with my fingers and showing you. Yes. Yes. And then just stick it on. Yeah. You've got to learn that you can't really sort of... I, I've learned, Emily, that you, you can't really imagine it to go exactly how you want and you know, work with what you've got. The decoration is quite difficult as well. It's more difficult than that. I thought it would just be you make a pot and then you do the decoration on top of it, and that's it. But the decoration itself is quite um, sophisticated. Really. 